really happy. Have you put your back out, mate? No, I'm like brand new. Uh, you're in a bit of pain. You might have to just be the cameraman for this one. As long as it doesn't involve bending, I'm fine. Well, it's all right. You Anything can just... I can do stood up is all right. I'll just hold the camera and then I'll have to do all the work for a change. Right, let's crack on. What a beautiful day. What's this? What's this little thing here? I wonder if she'll start. Let's have a look. What's the chances? Come on, girl. Come on. Whoa. Get another chance. Come on. I don't think it's going to do it. Come on. No. Don't think she's going to do it. One more try. Let's go get the jump back out. See that blow? We've lost the bolt down there, so we've got that to sort out. We're going to sort this oil return out and just tidy a few bits up. Yeah, we've got a few bits to do. Sort that blowing exhaust out. Got some studs, turbo blanket, new suspension, new wheels and tyres. And then we'll go and blast it out and see how good it is. And there's a little misfire somewhere. It seems to be running all right, so it might have just got a bit of damp on the coil pack. Maybe I have to look into that because the coil pack is insulated, but I did put it behind the scuttle away from the water. It might be that, it might be injected off, it might be a plug off, so we'll have to plug it in and find out because it's chucked the fault cord up. So, yeah, let's get in the garage. Hats, 15 of them. We've got 15 hats being made, should be with us by the end of next week. If you want a hat, drop a comment down below, ship them wherever, so I'll ship in on the price of what I'm going to sell them for. I'm not after making any money, I'll just get them out to you. Oh, very nice, got some new bits there. Right, so the bits we're sticking on in this episode is that there is going to be the oil return. And then I think encased in that. Uh, what are you doing with that? Is that high heat stuff? It's meant to be high temperature, isn't it? And then obviously that will should go in there. And then that's the oil return. New turbo blanket, because obviously the last one set on fire. Wheel spaces that I don't think we'll need because we're changing the wheels. Got some exhaust manifold studs here, because obviously one of the bolts has come off, so we need to secure the turbo on properly. And the Endura K here has got new rules. So the suspension, the Bilstein suspension, which isn't very old. We're going to whip off, clean up, stick all that suspension on the turbo K. Then hopefully it'll give it a better ride. So let's jump on, get the suspension off that first. And let's crack on with this. Excuse me. What are you doing? High five. High five. Yeah, good girl. Right, let's crack on. Right, so we've got the suspension off, the Bilstein suspension. I'll get it all cleaned up and we'll chuck that on the lift up in the air and we'll get the springs and the shockers all taken off that now. So let's jump straight into it. I think what we'll do is we'll do the easy ones first. So we'll do the back axle and put the shockers in the back. So we'll get the old ones off and get them shockers, 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 get them shockers chucked in now. Don't be afraid, won't let you fall, girl. Done. 
I was looking underneath just before, one of the CV boot clips has come off, so I'll get that done. The back shocks are on now. Let's stick it back up and let's change the back wheels with the new wheels and tyres that we've got. Wheels are second hand, tyres are brand new, so let's go and get them. Chuck them on now, I nearly fell over. I want to see them on, I really want to see them on, because they were uh, only temporary when we first built it, and they've ended up being quite permanent. Falling over everywhere today. I'll give them a bit of clean up. These are Tire Proxy CF2s. I'm gonna have to double check that. Yes, yeah, so CF2s, Tire Proxy on KA original wheels. But these wheels are, believe it or not, made by Barbet. They're a proper strong wheel and they look duty. I just like them. They're like a mini light wheel. Look at them. I've washed them up, cleaned them up. There's one that's got a little bit of a curb mark, which I'll probably get them refurbed at some point. But I want to use it in its winter still. The weather's bad, so let's just uh, get them slapped on now. A little bit on, and then we'll talk them up. Let us know which wheels you prefer. I think they're the winners. I think everyone will agree with them. Yeah, so that's the back end done. I really love them wheels, they look proper smart, suits the car. So just keeping stealthy as we're trying to keep it. Let's jump on, do the front shockers now, sort that CV clip out that's loose underneath, and get the wheels on. And then we can take the turbo off, sort the manifold bolts out, and put the oil return in and then have a look at that misfire. And hopefully, we'll have time to stick it for a spin out. Right, so we've got it turned around. What we'll do is we'll stick it up in the air, we'll get the oil drained out of it while we're doing the front shockers. So we'll crack on, and Kev's here now, because Kev's on the other side of the camera. Hi. Right, let's crack on, let's do this. I want it running today. Oil out. That's where the CV clips decided to come off looking on. That one is leaking a bit as well, I think. we we'll have to clean it up and sort that out. So draining oil out now. That's the shockers on, that's shockingly good. And then clean the brakes up a bit. Oil's drained out of it now. So we'll stick it all the way up in the air and we will start to fix that issue. And then this is what we're changing, this pipe for the braided hose. The exhaust is held up well, there's no blowing. Obviously it's gonna rust up a bit. We didn't paint it up, but that's a cast that's working fine. So yeah, and then we've got to drop the manifold down, you can't really see it up there. And then we get the exhaust off, manifold off, and then fix the uh, blowing turbo before it falls off. Right, so that's done now. That clip's there's done. That one's just tightened up. And we're gonna start taking the turbo manifold off and then sort out the oil return and that leaky turbo. Right, the turbo is off, the creation. Well, it's been blowing through there. It's because that bolt is not there. So what we have just found as well is that the clutch pipe, can you see that? Look at that. How lucky have we been there? So that's only a plastic pipe. It's not, no high pressure. So we're going to change it. We're going to use some brake pipe of the right size, bring the brake pipe up and run it along, along there around out the way and back into the the bottle and i think that'll be a, a bit better i'm glad i'm glad this is that i've gone because i didn't want the clutch going look at that Woo -hoo! so kev's just measuring up some different size brake pipes that we've got gonna make a new pipe it's not plastic yeah yeah you got one that one happy days that'll do right yes are you dossing he's always dossing 
<laughs> right, so we'll get this bit of pipe made up and then I'll try and sort out this turbo, the scrapyard turbo build. How much is it worth? Five ninety-nine. That right. Well, that's your wages for today. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that one? That one. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. So is this the new clutch pipe you've made? That's for? the new one. Yeah. That's the new improved shortened version. Nice. Yeah. And what's that replacing, Bill? That. Why, why are you replacing that? Because it was chafing. Chafing. <laughs> you need some bamboo, mate. It was chafing. Bamboo stops chafing, you know. It's chafing, chafing. <laughs> You know what I mean? Better putting the rubber pipes on first. Oh, the pipes there. No, the one on this one. It's there. It's not. It's there. Ah, oh, I see. It goes into there. Right. Mm -hmm. so that'll be going to the lead. Oh, so that's a bit twizzling around it, right there. Right direction. Right into that. Into that clip. You can see me far dead, but that's about it. The G101 on that crew. Into that one. You done that before? Yeah. It's like brand new, that man. Good. I'm quite impressed, yeah. You're not impressed, us either. You haven't taken your clips up yet, though. No. You're just taking them up. Well, cack handed. Are you wrong handed? Yeah, no, right handed. Wrong handed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right hand, but the left. No. Yeah, it's that one. Are oh, you going in right handed this time? Yeah, I'll have to do this right. Wrong. Wrong handed. That's it. Hang on a minute. Why aren't you using this? That's old school. What? That's old school, this, this, this one. This new is new school, look. I thought that was your brand new stuff, but <laughs> <laughs> That's the new, that's the new, new is that. That's, that's the bees, bees, that one. I don't want to get it dirty. You get oil and brick fluid on it, you'll, you'll wear the rubber, wood effect off it. <laughs> Took years to get that paint effect on, man. Yeah. There we go. The bolts are sorted on the turbo manifold now. They're all done, that's solid. So what we're going to do now is the oil return. It'll go down there and down to our makeshift bung with this extra silicon insulation on. So Kev and Sam will jump in and put that on now because I'm fixing the customer's car. Happy days. Stick it on the timer and away you go. Pizza time! Pizza time! Yeah? Please, calzone, please. Oh, yeah. Kev, you're on a diet, man. You will have known, won't you? Okay. No, no, it pies and chips, that's that. It pies horrible, man. Colin had sausage and chips. I bet you did. <laughs> did you enjoy your sausage, Colin? <laughs> Need to feed it down the back. Back like it was pipe. down down there, yeah. Round them pipes and straight on. Watch your fingers on there. Try to help you out, Kev. Try to help you out, Kev. You know what I mean? Just as usual, just undo the work of them. <laughs> So that's the top end all bolted back up now. They're gonna send it up in the air, put the bottom. We haven't got the pipe on yet. What, at the bottom or up here? This pipe here. Oh, I'll leave you to it. 10% battery. Battery? Mm. I don't have fits because I measured that pipe. <laughs> Oops. Wrong size pipe, Colin. No, no, no. It would just be out of luck. It's gonna be a bloody tight fit. Kev's trying to give it a reach here, but he's struggling. A reach round. Yeah, he's got cramp in his hand. When did you learn to count? 32, 76, 29, 34. 32, 36, 34. 12, 37. Why I put that Pretty on there? It's bloody horrible, isn't it? Oh, oh the hell is that? I'm going to go on to there. That goes from a skinny pipe to a big pipe. <laughs> oh, dear. Oops. We have a problem. That is never, never, ever, ever going into there. No, it's straightforward, is it? We can fold up and that's why I want the proper paper. <laughs> Do you have any shoes, mate? No, not at all. Pipe wrong size? Yeah. Right size for one end. Yeah, other ends are right. Just the right. end you've got gauge on. Right, we've had to do a Mark II modification. We've got a spike in here, it should just slide on there now, shouldn't it, Kev? Sure, Kev. Yeah. Look at that. 
nice. We'll tighten that back up, drop it down, put some oil in it, and then see what she runs like. The oil return that you can't really see down there. I'll show you the old pipe. It was about to blow. It's luckily, uh, it's lucky it managed in all fairness. So you can see there, as the pipe now is absolutely solid. It did the job to test the turbo, but it wasn't ideal. You know, there's absolutely no flex in that whatsoever now. Kev's tightening up the down pipe with a new copper. Copper uh, nut, thanks Sam. Brain's well gone today. Nip them up, put the oil in, put the boost pipes back on, and then see how she runs. What do you reckon? Apparently with the hauling rocker cover where Kev smashed it. What? He lies. Really? He lies. Better not be. Mmm. Well, I heard a crack and there's a bit of plastic falling down there, so. Mmm. Well, we'll soon find out when there's oil squirting out the back of it. Pull a horse, I Is that a... Uh, it's extremely flat. Oh, well, get them tight, they don't want to come loose. <laughs> yeah, just, just nip it up, Kev. Price price again, on the way up. There, forget one. Price against the rocker cupboard if you want. Somebody will do that. Come on. Put the front engine. Boom. 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 Drop it down, put a battery on it and see if it'll run. Right, so all the manifolds back together. Look, my hand's on there. So this is literally a real first test start. Studs all tightened, manifold on, oil return done, batteries on, boost pipes back on, battery charger's on because I think the battery's goosed. No, it's not on. I flick that on now. Tell you what as well, don't ever buy one of these boost packs. It's a waste of money. These snap on new boost packs are absolute garbage. Right, Kev, go on, see if she'll start. Just put the ignition on a couple of times. Oh, or maybe just start it straight away. Leave it running, Kev. Well, can't hear it leaking now. Obviously, it was leaking down there before. Just down there where the end of the torch is touching. Turbo spooling all right. Doesn't seem to be misfiring. What I'll do is I'll let it warm up to get the oil really at its finish point. Get it up to temperature and hopefully that heat proofing won't start melting. Obviously when oil's at its warmest it's, it's thinnest so it'll escape out of anywhere. So far so good. So we'll check back in too. Oh looking good under there. So we're about 20 minutes in and where the brake flue was dripping out it soaked the heat wrapping around the exhaust. See under there so that's smoking. That smoking out is drying it all out, but it's been running down. There's no leaks, there's no drips, there's no, no bolts come loose. What I'll do is I'll run it up to temperature for a little bit longer. It's about half six at night now, and then we'll go to tomorrow, and we'll, me and Kev will probably take it out for a drive and test it, see what it's like on its new wheels and tyres and suspension, see how it handles. So yeah, we'll um, see you in the morning and we'll jump right to that now right me and kev are about to take it for a drive so kev's just got here yeah let's go for a spin out let's see if everything's all right i've had a shave as well made myself look presentable well look how well that sits that sits loads better them wheels look loads better tires nice and sticky i'm well happy with it really happy with it just that little detail of that cherry bomb out the back sits really well on that suspension just looks like a little 1.3k but great fun look at it Woo, very nice <laughs> it's driving seems all right Brand new tyres, isn't it? So, yeah, they'll be slippy and they slip. Right, well, we're out in it.
great fun, isn't it? It is. The suspension is better anyway. Yeah, it feels loads better. Yeah. Putting the old race suspension on there, like. Definitely, it's definitely. Stiffened it up, yeah. on it, that. Tires were well worth upgrading onto them tires and them wheels. The K, well, the suspension off the Enduro K has made a massive difference. Standard shockers with lowering springs on, and it's not ideal. And having these Bill Stein suspension on, massive difference. <laughs> Fireworks going on there. It's <laughs> like from first gear. See you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye now. Bye bye. Kaboom!